there, so so I remember where we started. One, three, four, whoops, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Looks like we have fourteen vertices at this point. So what I'll probably do is add divisions into the arm instead of lowering this all the way down to, because we have nine divisions in our arm, I've already counted it. So I'm going to do some uh, three-pointed quads right here. And all you do is you select three points that are flat. And then the way you want to reduce um, your divisions going this way, you create a face, but it's not going to let me because it's just not too flat there. There you go. And you can see that that is going to lower the divisions like that. That's kind of ugly, but it does serve a purpose. And it serves its purpose well. All we do is we have to remember that uh, if we're doing deformation, we want to use from here back, on the, like add another loop right here, um, for the deformation because we don't want to bend this part of the hand because it may give us some artifacts. So, And there are also alternate ways of doing this, and I think I'm going to use one of those alternate ways. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these two vertices. Let me look at my hand. Go to the top. Okay, I'm going to take this edge and basically curve it around to get to this edge on this finger. And then I'm going to put another loop in between those two that comes around and goes to this one. And I'm going to use quad and a quad to do that stuff. It actually works out really well on the palm, which is how I discovered it, but um, I don't see a reason why we can't do it here. So I'm going to extrude that and take it in. I'm going to do two extrusions. I'm going to create a face out of those. Create a face here. And then create a face here. You can see what that does. And that creates our two bands that we're going to need. So, it's the same thing here. I'm not going to do it to the thumb. We'll treat the thumb differently. To be honest, this doesn't really do um, anything much differently from the other way. It does handle a little bit of deformation a little bit better and things like that, but in general, it, it's not going to be doing anything different. I'm just going to undo that. Let's grab these two vertices and make a face. Let's go to edges for just a moment and fill those. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing we did there, except we're going to do it down here. I'm going to move these back just a little bit on X. There we go. Just to give us a little bit more room. Extrude that in and down. And this one will extrude it in, and then we'll just create a face between those two, which actually just adds, whoops, just adds that uh, edge. And then we'll just fill these up with faces and it's always faster to use edges when you're going to make faces. Okay, and now you can see what we've done. Let's go ahead and just kind of adjust these just a little bit. Keep them kind of neat. It's not too bad. Okay. So now that we've done that, you can see it's a little bit low right there. I'm going to use my um, proportional falloff, hotkey is O, grab it and move it on Z, and you can see the proportional falloff is rather large. So let's shrink that down. There we go, now we can see it. Pull it up a little bit. Let's grab this vertice and this vertice, not that one those up a little bit. And let's go right down the center right here. Let's make this a little bit larger. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> 
Let's see what we can do on our thumb. I'm going to go ahead and even add more divisions in here because I really, well, we could probably add a triangle right there. That's a pretty noticeable area. Let's create a face there and whoops, here. And we can wrap this one around like we did the other ones, but we'll go around the side of the thumb right here. Let's go to the top interpolate that as well as possible. Let's turn off proportional editing. Just hit 0 or O, not 0, the letter O. Okay, move that, take it in. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. And we'll go to vertices. And let's just go to the top. Work on this one. Extrude that. Grab that vertex. Make a face. Go back to edges. Face there face there, face there. Let's see how that works. We're going to do the same thing on the bottom. Go to the bottom, control 7, and grab that vertex, pull it in, grab this vertex, F for face, go to edges, face, whoops, well we need to make a face out of these vertices first. There we go. Face there, and F face. There we go. And on the bottom, we need to do basically the same thing we did to the top, if you look at the vertices. But uh, the easier way would be to actually grab those faces. Let's actually grab them from the bottom. Control 7. That way we can see what matches up. I'm going to use the... Whoops. Let me hit A to get rid of that one. Okay. B twice. We're going to use the brush selection to get it kind of small. And I'm just going to paint this in so we just get the ones we need. Okay, right click. Now let's go to the front. Shift D, that copies it. We're going to move it down on Z. And then we're going to hit M. And what we're going to do is we're going to mirror it on its Z axis, local. And all that does is just flips it right over. So G, Z, let's pull it back up in there. Go to vertices and let's turn on uh, backside. And we're just going to weld these together. This saves you a little bit of work. Whoops. I'm going to turn off that backside for a moment. We're almost done with our hand. We're about to wrap this video up as soon as we just get the hand basically finished. And this is where we're going to need the backside. Kind of have to inspect it. Make sure you get the right one. And it looks like, uh, let's undo that. We might have to work on that a little bit. And this one as well. Let's turn off. Well, let's pull these uh, back. Or this one we can weld. Ah, I see what I did. Okay, this one we'll weld. And that's going to leave these odd ones. I'm just going to delete them. X vertices. Let's turn off backside. Weld that. Okay. Now we've got these. Maybe. Okay. Now, <laughs> now we have these oddities right here because we didn't do. Um, we didn't. Uh, select that other band when we copied it. There's no other secondary band going around here. So we basically um, need to just either rebuild it or we can put some triangles in here. Um, it's not good. You shouldn't take the lazy method and just get rid of them. 
problems later on down the road that could hurt you. So let's go ahead and delete these faces. This one and this one. Add a division across here. We need to extrude out this vertex and this vertex. Create a face there between those and do the same thing up here. And we're just doing the same thing, quad to quad. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create faces down here too to kind of close it off. And let's go to edges. Let's put our face in there. Whoops. There we go. Face. And here we go. Whoops. Um, did something wrong there. Ah. There we go. There we go. And now it's all worked out. Um, and actually, in the palm, you get a little bit better geometry if we were to have moved these up right about here. A little further up. But uh, we'll be okay. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and grab this loop, go to the top, extrude that out on X one more time. Let's go to vertices, and I'm going to grab these vertices on the side and just kind of play with them a little bit, because, you know, there's the odd kind of hand bone thing. Ah, we, we missed something. We being me. Let's go to edges. Now our hand is pretty well done. That's pretty much it for the hand. Uh, next we basically need to start uh, modeling our feet, but before we do that I probably want to, um, while we're still on the hand, actually get it uh, refined one more time into the arm, or actually add some to the arm so that we can um, merge it all together. So let's go ahead and save our scene, F2, and we're on body 9. Let's just add to that, take it up to 10, and save file. And I'll thank everybody now for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.